Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. I am in the middle of a marathon of uh, moldy VHS tapes that have been stored in the garage, attic, in humid conditions. Um, and, uh, oh God, I'm just looking at this right here. Rick and Carol, Phil Donahue. Ay, ay, ay. Rick and Carol. Okay, so... Um, I am cleaning them. I've got lots of other videos on this stuff. Um, and if you're tuning in, if you're a regular subscriber, you know, this is part of what I do is redoing all these old crappy tapes that every company is being, uh, is, is rejected. Um, these days, all these online cheap box companies are all trash. They're rejecting every tape, even the ones that are perfectly fine, keeping people's money and just putting stickers on them, telling them that their stuff is bad because of them, uh, not because of their equipment. So there is probably 10% truth there. And the, a lot of the, all the stuff that I do, uh, he's a rusted. My life. If you've got anything in the attic in the garage, you need to run, don't walk, and get it out of there. And this is late at night now, so I might be making a few mistakes um, because I'm tired. But I need to get this job done. It's just driving me nuts seeing it here, and I need to get it done. So first things first, I'm going to, um, where's my razor here? I'm going to get the majority of the crud off um, by this gorilla tactic here. There is no magic handbook for this stuff. Every company out there just, just rejects it and goes, nope, they don't touch it. Your, your videos are ruined, you idiot, goodbye. Oh, and by the way, no refunds. Um, so... There are a few of us in the world that are attempting to restore all of this old analog stuff. Look at the state of that. Um, and we are one by one, a very small little group of people out there. There are people that will, that claim they'll restore this stuff, but they'll take your money and then they go, oh, I can't get anything off of it. Um, you must see a YouTube channel. <sighs> you must see a YouTube channel with anyone you're handing your stuff over to these days because you, you, there's so many problems with all this media. And we're fighting it daily. And you've got to know that the person you're handing your stuff over to knows what the hell they're doing. And the, the steps that they take to combat all of this, look at that, all of this media that's deteriorating and the players and such. So when you see a YouTube video, you go, well, YouTube doesn't lie. I mean, I'm watching it happen right now. And that's why I've got this here. Oh, shit. God damn it. Yeah, you cannot take your eye off the ball with this stuff. Look at me. All right. That right there, 5.0 Google, hundreds of reviews. That's what you need to be seeing. If you do have your own business, you need to be working on these reviews. I know everyone promises to leave you a review. Oh, I saw your review, it's amazing. Okay, can you please leave a review when I absolutely crush it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have people in here and they like, you know, click on the QR code and they're like, okay, great, I'll do this later. No, 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 it's on your screen right now. Just just, just do it now. Oh, I'll do it later. It's just that. It's done. No, I'll do it later. Oh, this is all coming off. What the hell? All right. Um, yeah, so reviews. I think I've done the math about one in a thousand. <laughs> it's about one in a thousand customers. Leaves a review, honestly. And I don't have any... I've got a, one lady that left a two-star review like eight years ago. Amazing service! Da -da 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 -da. And then... 
quality was great. Everything was great, but it took six weeks. Um, well, it was Christmas time and I had loads of employees and I had so much work. But that was when I used to compete, try and compete with all these crappy companies because you're all just online competing to the brace into the bottom. And you go, you know what? I can't compete with this. I cannot with conscience be handing over crappy looking files um, and knowing that it's fixable, but because I'm not charging enough, I don't have the time to do, you know, all the staff, man, brain power to, um, to do it. So that's when I, in the end, since COVID, I got rid of, I used to have five, six staff at one point. Absolute nightmare. Um, you know, good, good stuff, but just payroll and trying to keep the bills paid and forget it. It was just too much, too much stress, too much money. And then when it was slow, you were like, oh my God, you had to start like calling people back going, okay, I'll do all your tapes for nothing. And they were, ha, ha, ha. Okay, there you go. And then you'd end up making no money once you paid all the payroll and the bills and the time and the repairs. It just didn't, didn't, wasn't worth any of it. Um, so that's when I decided just to go back to basics like I used to back in the old days. And I've got Samantha who works for me part time as needed and she's amazing. And um, she's got another job that she does. So she works the two together. Oh. And she does primarily all the film stuff. She doesn't like dealing with all the videotape stuff. She likes the film. I don't particularly like film. I don't particularly like any of this stuff, to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know what? When people pay you good money, you're like, okay, I'll do it for that. Yeah. Um, so kind of like most of us with our jobs. Um, but no, I, I am passionate about this stuff and I know that I'm doing good work and it's uh, making a lot of people happy. Um, all right. Let's do this. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, let's see here. I've got these things because these alum things are all metric and I'm in America where it's all imperial and I've got one metric Allen wrench that I cannot find so I cannot nail them down. All right. So, all right, that's that, that's that. Let's rewind this bugger. Tension. There we go. Only <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more tapes to go. Hopefully, if they all go to plan. The luck of this customer is an absolute joy to work with. He is very understanding of the mistakes that he's made in storing this stuff in less than ideal conditions and is paying me uh, the, the going right for this stuff, which I don't quote prices on YouTube because these things stay up forever. And I don't want people going, oh, yeah, in a video, uh, you said this price. And I'm like, yeah, that was 13 years ago, dude. Um, so anyway, let's just say it's not cheap. But when it's this stuff that you just recorded, you know, it's the only copy that you have. It's what it's worth to you. Um, and this is something that you really need to have utter faith in the person that is handling your stuff is going to do be doing the work because there are companies that do this stuff and then they go oh we gave it our best effort but 
you know, couldn't get it to go, and uh, here's your bill. And then they're still charging you for thin air, um, which is, yeah. Come on. It's always my flipping. There we go. All right. All right, let's see some uh, Phil Donahue. I I don't know what to be, to expect with this, but it looks like per the label, it's actually come from the production studio. So it's uh, legit, hopefully. Extra screw there. Okay. Okay, looking good. Let's see, what is this V7? What in the... V7. Come on. Point of view of doing an album and everything, and I don't necessarily want to do that. I mean, music means a lot to me, and and if it if this is what oh, it takes, I'll put Patrick my, my, my recording studio. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it is what it is. I mean, it looks like it's. I'm just gonna go ahead and do dirty dancing. Not my thing. That's going well still. And that's why it's important, like every single player needs to have a monitor. And with all these big companies, they don't. They just have stacks of VCRs that are running into a centralized monitor with like little thumbnails and they're not watching anything. And when it goes to hell in a handbasket, they can't tell. Um, so anyway, that's that one. Here's more. Reunion 1990. Some of these aren't as bad. See, look, like that one's not too bad, but it's still got mold on it. Look, that's not bad, but it's still got mold on it. That one, yeah, that one's bad. So I would say these have stripped the sticky tape syndrome. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you'd like me to do this stuff, um, I am located in Phoenix. I'm not in England, but, uh, you can go to gotmemories.com. If you like the video, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And this is where all the work's done. It's all nice and quiet right now. It's 9.15 PM on a Sunday and yeah. All right. Cheers.